Good morning and welcome back. I have been up since four o'clock, could not sleep. So I figured, you know what? This will be a perfect time to review a foundation. This foundation I'm really excited about and I can't wait to try it out. By the way, I want to mention this mug. It has a mushroom, not a mushroom, a lot of mushrooms on it and a little snail. I got it from Home Goods. I'm obsessed with it. I drink everything out of this since I've gotten it. It just makes me so happy. This coffee needs to kick in. Any time would be great. So the foundation I am talking about is the new Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. Wears up to 24 hours, has 3% niacinamide, and claims that you can't feel the coverage. Here is the Unicarton, really, really cute packaging. If you don't know, I'm a packaging whore. I love packaging, but I went to school for marketing, so I love commercials too. I'm a weirdo, but I digress. Let's get back into this. I'm an oily skin type of gal, so this says it's a self-setting foundation, water, sweat, humidity proof, smudge and transfer resistant, no powder needed. I got mine in the shade two fair neutral. One thing I'm liking about what Urban Decay is saying about this foundation is that you can kind of wear this however you want. There is no specific way to wear it. You can powder, you can not powder, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use a beauty blender, a beauty sponge. I like that. I like that it opens all doors for how you want to wear it instead of this is how you should apply it this is how it works the best type thing so i'm liking that Alrighty, so here she is really cute plastic little component here this would be great for travel it does have like a dropper um type of applicator <laughs> instead of like a pump they claim you do not need a lot of this and that it sets pretty quickly, or at least the videos I have seen, this sets pretty quickly. So I think what I wanna do is go in with concealer first and then go in with the foundation. Let me give you some information about this foundation before I jump in. I got this at Sephora. It is $40 and it has 40 shades. Matte finish, not comedogenic, good for redness can be built up from a very light coverage to a full coverage depending on how you apply it. Good for blemishes and acne and good for dark spots. It has a matte natural finish and is cruelty free. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I think that's all the information that is needed right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and as I usually do my makeup. I think that's what we learned with the ABH skin tint is that I just need to do what I usually do <laughs> instead of maybe following directions, maybe be a little bit of a rule breaker. I'm going to go in with my normal e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I use this when doing my makeup anytime. So that's what I'm going to do today as well. I am very hydrated, moisturized, all my skincare is on. That is one thing it says to do, make sure your face is properly prepped and hydrated. My hair. <laughs> this is that 4 a.m. hair for you. And then like I said, I'm gonna pop my concealer on here. This is just the L'Oreal um, new serum geez i can't talk i can't think new serum concealer i really like it it's really lightweight and nice underneath with the eyes okay we are nice and zoomed in here so let's get into this i'm just going to use my beauty sponge with this which will apparently give a more lighter coverage which i'm okay with i think i'm just going to start on one side blend it out and then kind of see what the coverage is here it says use a drop okay i that seems good right little drop and then let's blend around okay that is a light coverage for sure perfect shade match in my opinion i think i might just go in on my beauty blender let's really give this a test today i'm even kind of taking it up a little bit under the eyes here I like the way it blends with the beauty blender. I was definitely able to build the coverage a little bit. I'm not going for like a full coverage look or anything like that. That is so pretty. I really, really like that. Look at this. Very pretty on the skin. 
Dang, that is setting fast. It's still a little tacky, a little wet. I'm gonna go in on this side. That is so pretty on the skin. I covered up my little leftover blemishes on my chin, which I am happy about. I'm really liking the coverage with this. All right, five head, let's see what you got, buddy. Now I do have this blemish here. Let's see what it can do for her. Cause she is fresh. I feel like it didn't do much for that. Let me go in with just a tad bit more. Put it directly on that. There we go, okay. Covered it enough. Look how freaking pretty this is. Now let me feel this. Oh yeah, it does feel, it does feel like a, I feel like it's still a tad bit tacky, like just a littlest bit. I am really liking the way that this looks. The concept of this foundation is amazing. I do think for me, considering I'm going to work, I am going to powder. I'm going to wear it, like I said, like I usually do, just to ensure that everything, you know, looks good. But my first impressions of this, I really, really love the way that it looks on my skin. I hate touching my face, but... I really want to tell you guys how it feels. I still feel like it's a little bit tacky. So yeah, I think I definitely want to set this. And now I'm going to go in and just set my whole face. I'm trying a new powder today, which makes me nervous. It's the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Easy Bake. I'm nervous. I probably shouldn't be trying a new powder, but... Okay, so here is how everything is looking after powder. I just think the powder really just helped make it look almost airbrushed, almost flawless. I really like the way that my skin looks. It looks like, I mean, I can still see my freckles, so the coverage isn't too, too crazy to where I'm like, this is, you know, too much for me. I don't want to go for a full, full coverage look. It's gonna be like 80, 85 today, and I work at a dog groomer, so, I get hot, I get sweaty, I get wet. So this will be a good day to test this type of foundation. But I feel like my skin looks flawless other than this. I really don't feel like it really covered this too much, even though it claims to do really well with blemishes and acne and things like that. I love, love, love the way my skin is looking. So what I'm gonna do is finish my makeup and then let you guys see what that looks like and let you know how everything applies. Everything went over this foundation beautifully. I did set with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I am blown away with how beautiful and flawless my skin looks. I just love the way it looks. It looks freaking flawless. I really hope the oils stay in control, but I really feel like if this is a matte foundation, self-setting, I put powder on and used setting spray. I feel like my makeup should not move today. And if that's the case, this will be a great foundation for summer. So I'm really, really, really gonna keep my fingers crossed, hope for the best. And I'm really thinking when I come back on camera this afternoon, I should still look close to this, even if I don't do any touch-ups. Well, I won't be doing touch-ups. I never do touch-ups in my reviews, but this is gorgeous. Please stay like this, please. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish getting ready because ugh, I need to. This hair is a mess. Go to work, and then when I get home, I will jump back on camera and let you know how it wore throughout the day. So I will see you later. I have worn this foundation seven, eight, nine hours. I don't usually do foundation reviews this long. I don't usually wear makeup this long, but it actually worked out today because we want a long wear test. We want to know how this stuff wears, right? And where is my mirror? <laughs> all I can say is I am blown away by this foundation. I was not oily at all whatsoever until I got home and started unloading my car. I went to um, Lowe's and got bricks. We're doing landscaping outside and doing some things. So I was working a little bit in 80 degree weather. And now I feel like I'm a tad bit oily, but the foundation, the makeup itself looks 
so good. It looks like it hasn't even moved. I have not touched up. I'm I'm just I'm just blown away. I don't know what else to say about this foundation. I do feel like there was one time today I looked in the mirror at work and I felt like it was a little more on the drier side. I do feel like if you have dry skin, I probably might stay away from this foundation. Now you maybe could try it without putting the powder over it, but for me personally, I think that worked great. Using the self-setting foundation and then putting the powder over it, I think that was key for me. I love the way it looks. I can't believe it looks this good after nine hours of wearing it. And I know that if I was to touch up, it would be super easy to do so. Let me just go ahead in here. Yeah, the touching up is looking good. I feel like it's just like, what? What is in this? It looks so good. I feel like it looks just as good after the touch up looks just as good as it did this morning. And one thing about my makeup that I've noticed recently is I'm getting these fine lines around my mouth and they're getting really bad with makeup settling into them and this actually didn't do that and I have like little smile line wrinkles too it didn't settle into any of those wrinkles which I am very happy about this might be my definite go-to foundation I think this will be a great summer foundation the voodoo that's in it I feel like for oily skin and the longevity of the wear with this foundation I love that 40 bucks is expensive let's not forget that $40 is expensive if you can afford this foundation I would say go for it if you have oily skin combo skin have long summer nights ahead of you hot summer nights ahead of you um, I don't think you'd be disappointed I love the buildable coverage on it the shade range is pretty good I don't know I'm a fan you guys sorry to tell you it's hard for me to back a high-end foundation unless it really does great things and I can't stop staring at how everything looks I'm not even looking at you guys I'm just staring at the makeup in, in the mirror so let me wrap this video up I love it and after touching it up even with a tad bit of oil on my face it looks brand new I mean I just I'm I like this foundation a lot <laughs> <laughs> have you tried it are you gonna try it let me know what you think down below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next one thanks for watching